a twink and a red head a twink and a red head a twink and a red head a twink Just having fun. Whoa, 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 whoa. Trying to get some. Whoa, 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 whoa. I like what I see. Whoa, 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 whoa. So come on, come bounce with me. Bounce, 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 bounce like a bunny. 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 Now you got to learn and maybe I'll let you see it's my bunny bunny hole maybe I'll let you peek bunny 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 it's you that I want so come on over baby come bounce in my hole one two three let's go bounce 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 in my bed on my head till I'm dead bounce like a bunny Thank you. Hi. That was just a little bouncing a bunny for you. That was one of our first original singles that we actually wrote in the Galapagos. Yeah, Call we, back to that episode. We wrote it when we were like 16 years old and it's stuck with us ever since. And it's just, the lyrics are beautiful. The motifs of bouncing, bouncing, bunnies, holes. Mm-hmm. Do bunnies live in holes? Do they live in a bunny hole? It's a fantastic query. It is. And I believe they do live underground. Because, Burrows. Yes, because I used to have these like books, picture books of animals. And the bunnies' homes always look... Underground. Oh, <gasps> exquisite. Exquisite. The interior decorating. The tunnels. Yes, the tunnels. The infrastructure they have. You're talking remarkable. about like the cut in a half. Like yes. you look in. Yes. I know what you're talking about. I always fantasized about living in a bunny burrow. So it, I guess they are underground holes, according to those cartoon pictures. Yeah, but n- it's not like they're pretty well hidden. Because when was the last time you stumbled upon a bunny hole? Uh, my dog ate a baby bunny out of a hole, like a same, nest. Or a, maybe it's a nest, but my it's like, in the ground. My like 14th year old birthday. Was it a poodle? Sh- Mia. It was Snickers, the Labradoodle. Yeah, poodles love Baby, ba- babies, ba- babies, just period. No, it was a massacre, <laughs> massacre of baby bunnies. Yeah, that's what happened with Snickers. Oh my god, it was horrific. We literally had to pull one out of his mouth, and then we thought for some reason we could save it. Like it fully, we brought it inside. It lived with me for like a day, and then my mom brought it to an animal shelter the next morning. It fully died, but my mom didn't yeah. tell me that till like a year ago. Well, I thought we saved him. You want to know something crazy? One snow day in elementary school, me and my best friend Jenny and then our other friend, we were walking in the woods in the snow and we were kind of playing in the creek on the ice and we see a turtle upside down, kind of just dangling there. This sounds like like an origin story kind of Yeah, and I said, huh, I feel like this turtle is probably chilly in the snow like this so jenny says okay i'm gonna she picked it up with her bit took her glove off picked the turtle up brought it home and it was our pet for like a year and then when spring no when summer came okay a year two months (laughs) and when summer came we released him what (laughs) that's animal cruelty what you did to him really Yep. I feel like we kind of saved him because he was dying. I feel like you disowned him. him. Displaced him. Maybe. Seriously? But as 10-year-olds, I thought I was a hero. No, yeah. You always be doing that shit when you're young. Like, just bringing in just animals bringing in that you random animals home, huh? That you really think you could save or, like, do something about. And moral of the story is most of them end up just dying. So. Yeah, but if at first you don't succeed, try and try again. Y'all, today I'm sipping on an Owl's Brew tea cocktail. Um, They sent it to us. Thank you. Shout out to Owl's Brew, I guess. I'm um, sipping on Raspberry Rose Poppy. How's the taste? It's pretty good. 
Anyway. For a long time, I thought it was Raspberry Rose. So did I. I was like, oh. Not. It's Rose. Um, what's new? How are you? Um, I got a haircut today. Looks good. And my barber said there are no signs of balding. So everyone out there, there was one live stream a few months ago that really put me in a spiral. I was on TikTok and everyone in the comments started saying I was balding. And I was like, are you serious? Because yes, of course, that thought is already lingering in my head. But are you serious? Yeah, Do you know what I mean? Seriously? And I started really paying attention to it. And like, I for a while thought I was balding and they bullied me into like buying Rogaine. Mm. And then I learned that there are side effects to Rogaine. So I like haven't used it. But I don't think I'm balding. And my barber confirmed it today, you know which was nice. I feel like society puts so many so much pressure on women for like so many things that like changing appearance like gaining weight wrinkles gray hair all the saggy boobs all these Uh things men it's really just balding is like the worst thing in the world for a man it is. Um, it's like if you want to hurt a man, tell him, "Hey, what's going on?" With oh my life? god, that would actually that would, like, put me in a spiral. Send a man into a spiral. But also, I do think there is karma associated with baldness. You think that? <laughs> yeah. Uh, at my last job, the meanest CEO I've ever seen in my whole life, he was bald. I'm so sorry, karma. but if you're, I just thought of a. Um, loop around to this this does not apply to you if you have alopecia oh yes absolutely does not apply to you guys y'all are serving in your baldness in your confidence in your slayness like does not apply to y'all this Uh, we're talking about evil men evil men evil men dr evil is is bald bald. like there's a reason for that you're so right lex luther is, is bald. bald like there's Thanos? some sort of bald but Voldemort? are we on to something maybe right it's now? society teaching us that being bald is wrong it's and it's oh yeah, it's maybe. not always no it's not always okay so now we've come around kind of full circle <laughs> yeah, on baldness. in like all in two minutes we yeah okay so never mind you guys never mind i actually think being bald <laughs> is means you're beautiful <laughs> person being b- yeah just it's the media that has painted bald yes, people in a bad it's light the media that originally shaped this topic on our podcast and then we in five seconds we debunked it wow, wow. and just like that that's how everyone should view the world yeah look for look for like plot holes and then fill them in with positivity Mm -hmm. (laughs) speaking of which snakes in the grass everywhere these days do you know what that means like garter snake (laughs) you don't know the saying i'm not familiar snakes there's look out there's snakes in the grass people betraying you yep or there august okay well don't do it to me yeah. We, if we created it, pioneer, you, you don't do it to us. You shouldn't be a victim. For real, like actually snakes in the grass. So just be on the lookout because other people are celebrating Vengeful August as well. And you might be a target. Just saying. I haven't been a victim yet. Do you think okay, it's going to happen well, to me? Yep, I do. <laughs> and I'm thinking of something. What are you anyway, thinking of? I can't say, but you know what I know. And snakes in the grass just think about it a little bit but don't don't say it <laughs> am i right you guys hey yo. is it about something we've been talking about yeah today? yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> hey yo. yep um, how are you what are you up to the i baby? have an unhealthy obsession with red white and royal blue oh. it's the it if it doesn't win the academy award for best picture it's because we've lost touch with reality well that movie <laughs> ha- lost touch with reality as exactly. well exactly what's wrong with having your head in the clouds Wait, in a gay romance it was actually so immersive it was so immersive i, I, I felt, felt like, like I, was I was there i felt like i was the prince's comrade I, I wanted to be his friend so bad i've never yeah. been so attracted to a gay character before where what about like, me 
you're real. No, oh, thank you. You're welcome. Um, anyway, <laughs> I I'm so in love, and that's really all I wanted to say about red, white, and royal blue. And I respect. Is he gay in real life? That one, the bi one, the American. The American one. But the bottom is straight. Okay. Yeah, Nick Gallo, whatever. Oh, I'm sure you no, are. No, no, get this. <laughs> He's a descendant of what? Of the like last Russian royal family that was killed in the revolution in the nineteen early 1900s. What? You know, like Anastasia, the missing Russian princess. Allegedly. Yeah, she was shot and killed in that basement with the rest of the family. <gasps> but um, there's no proof that she's. I saved. don't know anything about. Oh, this. but. Oops. He is a descendant of of them, but they're all killed. So you, know that that <laughs> so <how does> <laughs> you know what? You know what? I read Maybe. this quickly on Wikipedia. I think it was just a noble family actually that was also killed during that purging of the Russian arist- aristocracy. So not the royal family, but uh, an <laughs> a- aristocratic. That word is so hard to say. Family. So. Okay. I did get that fact a little wrong, but I corrected myself almost immediately. So please, Russians, don't come for me. The girls on A Thousand Pound Sister in an episode said that they are also related to Queen Elizabeth. So anything. Okay, and they might be. And I believe it. I'm just saying. um, Anyone can be related to (laughs) anyone. To anyone. I'm my family thinks I'm my mom thinks I'm related to we're related to Ricky Martin. And you might be. Yep, and I kind of look like him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> anyway. It's the web of the app. It's so... Today's word is... Sports! Hey! Hey! Get down! Get down! Get on the ba- sit on the fucking bench. H- H- Hike. <sighs> How you played out there was fucking horrible. You fucking bitch. Sit your ass down and quit acting like a little girl out there. You know. Yeah. I was trying to think of any other sports reference H- that could make. H- 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 Hike. Go long. <laughs> go long. <laughs> Who says go long? <laughs> Uh, is, that, is that football? I, uh, I don't know. Football. Anything you throw something, I would say go long. G- catch the ball, babe. <laughs> Ruth. Babe. Home run. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your favorite a- famous athlete? Ooh, probably. Babe Ruth. No, not babe. Who's yours? Um, Probably. Uh, sh- Nicki Minaj. What? She's an athlete. Oh. Singers are athletes. You know who mine is? Megan the Stallion. The two Actually, ooh, Ryan Gosling and Remember the Titans. That's my favorite <laughs> famous athlete. Ooh. I love his character. Michael Orr. Oh, Did you he's see in the, the drama? news right now. I did. I did. I've been catching up on the news. Ooh. Ooh, you know who else I love? Who? Who's the Simone Biles? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't know. I'm more of a jo- Jordan Childs. She's up and coming. Oh, You'll see her she, hopefully oh, at the Olympics. Oh, we'll see her in Paris. Yeah, she, Bonjour. That, that girl puts on a show for Floor. Yeah. Anyways, we were both really talented athletes. I was one of the best jocks our town had ever seen and yeah. then i she was the first female football player yeah. in our town and, and then, quarterback yep i was the first female quarterback in our town and if it if it wasn't for Are you snapping okay? my achilles in the championship game you had a full ride i was yeah i had a, i had a full ride to florida state university to be a d1 quarterback female female quarterback in the you were signed SEC? pretty. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. The one? ACC. Oh, in the ACC. And you were signed. You were signed freshman year of high school. Freshman year of high school, and then I snapped my Achilles, and the rest is history. I became an English major. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> just kidding, you guys. Kidding. I don't. I'm not athletic. I don't work out. I don't want to work out. <laughs> and that's that's my truth. Okay, well, I was thinking about this when we were thinking about the topic. I'm so talented. Yeah. I literally am so talented. So anyways, um, can you acknowledge it? Silence <laughs> is making me uncomfortable. <laughs> you're, you're talented. Thank you. I was an athlete, you guys. I did gymnastics if you count that as oh <laughs> just kidding it is a sport i my main sports were gymnastics and cheerleading gymnastics is harder than fucking lacrosse gymnastics is one of the hardest sports in the world like literally yeah. and if you want to start that cheerleading is not a fucking sport shut the f- Sh- shut the fuck up close this yeah. fucking podcast and never come back yeah. i'm not even kidding like b- close open this a book podcast get on truth social and say <laughs> it fucking there <laughs> literally It'll say be it accepted there yeah you'll find your people there um but early on my parents put me in um like traditional sports mm. i was put in gymnastics when i was three years old because my mom said i kept bouncing on the couch and just jumping bouncing around. off the, the walls. walls if you know you know when my spider man into the dark band's <laughs> ass. Yo. Anyway. um but yeah she put me in gymnastics because i kept cracking my de- my damn head open ayo like, I cracked my head open when I was three because I was jumping on the couch and I jumped off and I hit my head on the fireplace. My mom said, you need to do something about this damn energy. And so I did gymnastics, like, all throughout, up until high school. But throughout it, I had some moments where I was like, oh, shit. People are saying I'm gr- only girls do gymnastics. So what am I doing yeah, here? It's a hard misconception to overcome i feel like it was so hard and can i ask (laughs) yeah the rings that shit looks hard so hard how does one choreograph a ring routine Routine. and how do you how do you how does one even add some pizzazz to the rings uh you you really don't so rings it gets harder, obviously, as you progress in levels, but there is some swinging elements involved. So, like, dislocates and inlocates, and that basically is called that way because it depends on the direction you're kind of spinning. And if you're dislocating your shoulders or inlocating your shoulders, you literally have to, like, Ouch. turn the rings to, like, do those. But then rings is very big on, like, body positions, what like, if holding. You fall? I've I've fallen off rings at a competition. I peeled off rings. I was humiliated, and Uh, it was on such a. I think it was an inlocate. Not that anyone knows what I'm talking about, but it was it was humiliating. Landed on my butt, and it was loud. Real quick, (laughs) can I tell you about my gymnastics ending injury? So (laughs) I was a girl. You were you six? Wait, did you do at the gymnastics place I went to early on? No. Oh, yes, yes. I feel like I have memories of really? you there Yeah. on, like, Beam. Yeah. Funny you bring up Beam. Because oh. I was... Well, they told me, I think, that, like, I I was, like, getting kind of tall, you know? Yep, and that's, that's not good in gymnastics. You can't get tall. So that I basically kind of had a feeling, like, oh, I don't think this is going to be Yeah, but how me. old are you at this point? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe like Why do I feel like you did it for a grade. while? Yeah, I kind of did. Like I 13. could like do a flip at one point in my life. <laughs> <laughs> like I could like, st- and I could like spin up there. On what? What are you saying up there? Like I could the like bars? twist uh, in it. No, like the floor and the bar. You could not do a full. Yes. Oh, not a full. I, but I could get a little twist in, like a half. <laughs> <laughs> Halves are harder than fulls. Oh well, I I, I, think. I was not bad, but then you ever see the movie Stick It? Yeah. Grant, there is a scene in Stick It where one of the gymnasts splits the beam and yeah. falls off, like, literally right on her Poop. vagina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, mm-hmm. and I could That's not. That's why boys don't do beam. I could not shake that image from my head, Grant. I said. Wait, so you <laughs> didn't get injured? <laughs> no. 
<laughs> Your so, career so ending no, injury no, no. was... One time they were having me do like this beam routine and I was learning a jump. Like where you like... A little... Yeah, a little... Jump leap. on the beam. Yeah. Switch. And I <laughs> fell off to the side, but it was so close in my head to, to the, the injury in the movie. I was like... Uh, I'm retiring. I will not break my pussy like that. <laughs> uh, gra- I was terrified. Okay, but literally, you don't have anything there. What would have you happened? Have bone. You could break your you, vagina. So you, bru- you bruise your bone. And that's it. Boys, you'd be infertile. I don't give a fuck about boys. <laughs> boys aren't doing the beam. I don't want to. That's break, why. I don't want to break my vagina. It's something I would very much like to not break, actually. <laughs> okay. So I just wanted to share that. I'm wondering if, I, oh, I had a very bad injury in gymnastics. So I did like competitive gymnastics. It got to a point where I started to actually focus because I was doing like, like little league baseball and I was so bad when it was like coach's pitch, which is when you start actually pitching. And then if you like do bad, the coach steps in and actually <gasps> pitches. That's so embarrassing. <laughs> it kind of is thinking back. Wait, now. I feel like they shouldn't have that rule in place. You should probably just walk back to the bench. What? You should just strike <laughs> out. The pitcher should strike <laughs> out? <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> you thought it was the batter? Yeah. <laughs> if they oh, it's because the pitcher was doing so bad. Yes, the pitch, That's the one so throwing the ball. And that was you? Well, because it was like Little League, everyone had a turn. And it was my turn. <laughs> I threw it over the backstop. You know how big and tall those are? <laughs> I threw the ball. But it's not even like you're doing like a softball pitch where it's like under you. So no, you I'm throwing up, it like that. Thro- and it <laughs> went over the backstop. And I never did it again. I, like, you were humiliated. It was so humiliating. And of course, every time I like pitched, the coach would have to step in. That's so embarrassing. Yeah. So I was so bad at that. Basketball, I was really good at defense. Like, I just, like, really would, like, get, maybe, maybe, never mind. I know what you're going <laughs> to say. I think we both know. Yeah. yeah. And then you discovered gymnastics. Well, I, again, it was throughout this. I was still was doing, like, gymnastics classes and stuff. Yeah. But there were periods of time where I'd, like, want to quit so bad because I was getting bullied. And Aww. then I just stopped telling people I did gymnastics. Secret. Your little secret sport. Yeah, except when it was like a field day or something, I would like whip out like a round off that kid. Grant is, w- oh my God, Grant was that boy <laughs> that would be like, mm, <laughs> no one's talking to me right now. Let <laughs> me just do round off that can't spring, that can't spring full. Like it literally, and we'd all be like, yeah. Yeah, like out of like, nowhere, okay. it would just come out. And you were doing, let's be honest, let's be really honest right now. You were doing that from like fifth grade to twelfth grade. Yeah, you still do in that. College. You, you, I still do that. Grant did it the other night when we were walking from a bar. I did it at Domino Park. Yeah, a few weeks earlier. You literally did it two nights ago on the sidewalk. Yep. What you guys never flip while drunk because you people die. You oh never, never do gymnastics also, if you're drunk. Never. I'm what talking. an unfortunate way to die literally or get paralyzed yeah oh what like a, oh a fun party trick don't no what don't happened do to grant that. oh he had four margaritas and, and did a round off back hand round off tuck into onto traffic it. into oncoming traffic yeah don't and, and i always i was almost gonna do a round off back handspring and you didn't stop me and i had a couple drinks well so did i and more than you i threw up <laughs> okay so that means you're gonna let me do that it's you know just what, grant? seriously I wanted to see you flip. <laughs> see, people love it. People, people eat it. it. Up. I'm like, oh, my friend's gonna flip. It's a show. Um, what the fuck was I talking about though? Oh, I so know. I started focusing and then competing, and I literally won. I was a level eight. It's out of ten. Level eight state New Jersey all around championship in my like division. I won. Wow. And I didn't tell anyone. And, oh, this is so cute. Looking back, my dad got it printed in, like, the local newspaper. And I was so mad at him. (laughs) 
I want to cry Why? thinking about because I was I felt embarrassed. I need to heal my inner child. You should. Th- that's and why I wanted you to get drunk and do flips. You're healing your inner child. <laughs> and I'm going to put it in the newspaper. You're trying to kill my inner <laughs> child. <laughs> Wait, that's so I sad. know. And it's so cute. I should thank my dad like this yeah, weekend should. when I see him. I was actually so nice. Oh, I was so embarrassed. I was like, what the fuck, dad? You put it in the newspaper. <laughs> seriously oh but kids are so mean like they shouldn't you shouldn't bully someone for for being following their passion yeah and gymnastics is like such a hard sport like no why, one's what getting is, yeah what's oh, so embarrassing you fucking loser you play lacrosse like no one's doing that and lacrosse is for fucking why am i so anti-lacrosse this episode lacrosse is for I, fucking yeah, who, loser. when have you ever met a kind gentle-hearted lacrosse man some of the male? worst men i've ever met yeah they are some, some of, of the worst, the worst men. damn men i've ever met like literally so sorry also it's pretty fucking gay they you love play two lacrosse. things no they love three things lacrosse stick and balls lacrosse <laughs> manipulating women and drugs those are the three <laughs> things a lacrosse player likes also it's not even like common for like it's not common or cool elsewhere to play lacrosse other than i feel like america the northeast oh uh, it is big I, in the like, northeast. yeah for men like i'm sorry go other places in the country and only girls play it it's a girl sport so let me make fun of you for playing a girl sport i'm sorry but there were some bullies that i think we both know who played lacrosse were Let's there? we'll bleep their names too. Um, then he evolved. Oh, uh, mm, he did not evolve. Well, the he way flushed you think a, he evolved, and he flushed a hamster down a toilet. Yeah. So, so no, he didn't actually. You're like he's a really good person. Oh yeah, he just flushed a hamster. Yeah, down Yeah. Wait. Toilet. Let me take that back. Wait. Who else? Um, I I don't know. I don't he think kind. he played the cross. He played lacrosse. <gasps> he was kind. And he was so hot. Yeah, he I was have, so hot. Yeah, this this one lacrosse player, we're gonna bleep his name, right? Yeah, yeah. I hooked oh. up with him on my 18th birthday in the snow, and it was <laughs> crazy. Was no. a lacrosse player? What? No. Okay, maybe I thought all these people were lacrosse players. I'm just no, I forget one's name, but he's older than us. A bully. Mm, I don't think so. We're just naming. So I know. Many okay. This whatever. Obvious, whatever. Obvious. Whatever. Um. Yeah. Lacrosse. I'm sorry. What do you think the hottest sport is? Like the hottest people do that sport? Honestly, slept on, but like track. Really? Oh, no, 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 no. Let me take that back. Hard back. Swimming. <gasps> The swimming. swimmer body, they have the bodies of a Dorito chip. I'm sorry. In high school, my se- some of my sexual awakening was from the swimmers in our school. The swimmers, they have like su- they broad shoulders and then like a... They're look, just so chiseled. Grant, their body is a Dorito. Yeah. <laughs> it's a V. It's literally, it's like the most insane thing I've ever seen. I would literally wanted to like pop on a pair of goggles and dive in. I was so jealous when I found out that my secret lover in high school... Had hooked up with secretly pla- with yeah. the, one of the hottest swimmers Wait, I saw. Swim player? <laughs> <laughs> what is it? A, a swimmer! <laughs> literally, we're like, with a swim player. <laughs> what? I was like, wait, that doesn't sound right. Swim Just player. a swimmer. A swimmer. A swimmer, sorry. Yeah, that was shookening. I was so jealous in that really? moment. Yeah, to the point where I messaged the swimmer on Snapchat. And, and he didn't answer. Yeah, he no. was like, mm, don't know what you're talking about. Never yeah, happened. Yeah, he was like, that like didn't happen. Anyway, so then I started doing cheerleading. If I thought gymnastics was gay. Tick, 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 tick. No, boom, not dynamite. that kind. All right, there's nothing wrong with that kind. Okay, well, actually, I had a stint pole vaulting. <gasps> I forgot yeah. about pole vaulting. <laughs> Before cheer, after I quit gymnastics, because I only really like tumbling in gymnastics anymore. I didn't. I was not having the whole. The rings. The fucking. I, the damn pommel horse. You know what fucking event was the worst? Vault. That, vault was. No, I wasn't pommel mad horse. when I was. High bar. Oh, yeah. Shut the fuck up. It's Ouch. not. The fucking calluses. I got so many rips and I have calluses to this day that I think are like literally pure. 
period from <laughs> Gymnastics. Stem. What does that mean? Originated, Stem. originated yeah, from originated. gymnastics. That are Damn, pe- that must make jerking it pretty hard. Uh, the bar. <laughs> Your calluses. Wait, what did you just say? That must hurt jerking <laughs> it. That makes me make jerking it pretty hard. <laughs> Is that too crazy? No, but not. Never mind. Not with some friction lube. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Some just kidding. <laughs> I don't do that. I've never touched that part of my body. Okay, as you shouldn't. Anyway, um, cheer. So cheer. I did. I tur- My I had a group of friends before moving on. Shout out Zavanko. Yeah. Shout out Zavanko. You're Zavanko was my Croatian gymnastics. gymnastics coach. One thing about Ashley. Is she started like creating characters for each of like my coaches? Like she's never met any of these people. No, but like the second he said Zvanko, I was like, ooh yeah. Yeah, like I would come to school and she'd be like, oh, I was like up so late with someone last night. And I'd be like, what do you mean? She'd be like, yeah, I don't, I don't know if I should tell you. I'll be like, who? And she'd just be like, his name's Zavanko. Yeah, I, I had this like weird <laughs> bit where I would always be busy with random people from Grant's life, like it, my grandpa, distant family members, yeah. <laughs> coaches, random people you haven't thought about in 15 years. I'd be like, oh yeah, I was like swamped last night. And I was just hanging with blank Zavanko. Blank. Yeah, but yeah, he, was, he had to be there. Zavanko was the best coach I've ever had in my life. He was iconic. Aww. But I all star cheer started because of. The Burrow Sluts, that's what we called ourselves. It was a group of girls in my hometown. And they convinced me to do cheer. I think I secretly always wanted to be a cheerleader. George Bush was a cheerleader? George Bush is gay. And you, didn't you once tell me when you want to grow up, you wanted to be just <laughs> like George Bush? I, think, I don't I think remember you told me that. that. I don't remember yeah, that. Yeah, you said his policies in the Middle <laughs> East were really inspiring. I don't think I ever said that. Okay. It must have been hmm. Anyway, keep else. going. Um, but I'll start cheer, for those of you who don't know, is a two-and-a-half-minute routine with just tumbling stunts and choreo, and you don't actually cheer for people. You compete against other teams. And I was on – I went to a shitty – first gym i had a shitty experience you just start somewhere right you do have to start somewhere but it was a good intro the great great people great teammates all that however i just like my skill level going into it because of gymnastics was already so much higher i hate to say this than everyone else at that select gym the highest level in cheerleading too was level five and they only had level five restricted which meant you couldn't do certain skills. Like, you couldn't do a double full, but you could do a full. I had a double full, you know? And so once I, like, got the hang of cheer, I went to another gym, and I was on World Cup Odyssey. I went to World Cup All-Stars. Shout out them. Um, And I was on a really, really good team. I was kind of shook by it. I was also shook at the community of cheer. It was such a cult. (laughs) <laughs> it was a co- it was a community and like coming from gymnastics which was very much like individual individual cheerleading you go on the floor you could do every part of your specific routine or your your section like you do all your parts fine and then you get off the mat and you find out this bitch on the other side of the floor touched down or fell and now you lost the whole competition I was shook well, by that. Well, I feel that. like I wouldn't like that aspect of it. It's like working on like a group project in school. It's like, damn, just because this one person is Well, flopping. yeah, that's what makes this it's so hard. Like you literally have to work for a team as a team and you literally are lifting each other up. Wow. And we were really good my first year. And we were everyone was saying we we're going to win Worlds, which is like the Olympics of cheer. In and Orlando, Florida? Yep. ESPN. We bombed. I'll never we forget. <laughs> I'll never forget. It wasn't it over junior prom. Probably. You it couldn't. Was you couldn't go to junior prom. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I didn't go to junior prom. Yeah. And I receive a text saying, <laughs> "Can we say the name? Bleep it out." Let's make up a name. Okay. Candy, cane, candy cane. Yeah. Saying. Okay. So. 
I get a text at after junior prom because Grant couldn't attend, and I get a text saying Candy Cane fell. <laughs> and with those words, not only did Candy Cane fell fall, and I say this all. I don't actually care anymore, okay? Yeah. And in the moment, too, it wasn't that deep. It was just something silly. Actually, it was my entire world then, so yeah, it was that deep. what? Candy Kane dropped her stunt, walks to the front of the mat for jumps, and touches down, jumps to back. And if you're a level five cheerleader, no jumps. Idea what that means. A jump to back is like, you know, when you see a toe touch, like, woo! A jump to back... You do a backflip after. So, like, toe touch and then a back tuck. It should be so easy if you're a level five cheerleader. Like, one of the easiest well, she's skills. She's probably already nervous from falling. And well, clearly. And then, and allegedly. And also, shout out my best friend, Sydney. Sydney dropped her stunt as well. What? <laughs> yes. You didn't know this? No. Her stunt and Candy Cane's stunt came crashing down. And, but... Our raw score or whatever was apparently, like, so high that if Candy Kane didn't touch down and jumps to back, we would have made it to finals day two. And you could have done better. And day two, you start with a clean slate again. It's not like they take that score for Damn, day two. That and fucking sucks. We didn't even make it to finals. Meanwhile, yeah. every other competition, we were, like, winning, coming top three, top five. I remember. That's why, like... I was shook. Me, who knew nothing about all-star cheerleading but grant had told me about how successful they were i went to a few year competitions when i got that text saying candy cane fell i was grant i was so mad on your behalf i was like you know what fuck candy cane what the fuck happened like they were supposed to go all the way it's so true all of our friends at school who had nothing we would be like seriously what the fuck happened with candy cane yeah like liz i remember was so invested too like candy cane ruined my life in that moment yeah. and, and get this so we all flew there on the same flight like as a team like because i think whatever we won a bid so that's how that worked she fled the scene oh. she knew exactly what happened and she was fled probably the scene. humiliated she was not on the flight home did she quit cheerleading after that uh the owner <gasps> one of our co- head coaches or whatever said don't come back to my gym are you serious okay and as she said she would candy cane i feel bad now of course i don't care like clearly she was going through I something i don't think they should have made her quit it's just cheer gymnastics dance those sports are so harsh like that yeah they that's are so it was already such a bad moment in her life though <laughs> and then to like put the chair on top like that adult should feel ashamed of themselves. Oh, she definitely doesn't. But that adult, <laughs> <laughs> that adult also. It's giving Abby Lee Miller. Yeah. Well, anyways, before, r- literally moments before we're going on, she's crying. Candy Kane oh. is crying. The pressure was just too much. Yeah. And I'm like thinking like, damn, that's the worst thing that this whole team could see right now. It's like someone else why was crying, she crying because everyone's supposed to be being hyped like we got this she like let's so do nervous. this we don't know Aww. we don't know what but yeah i think nerves what if, what if there was something like crazy i happening know on in her i life? know that's so true i hope candy cane if she has a baby i think good for her Happy yeah for her. candy cane but seriously what you did was unforgivable but i forgive you if something serious was going on if not if you were just nervous i'm sorry we we had competed and performed this routine how many times before how many times and when we get set i face her and i'm like you got this you got this like she's still crying still just proceeds to like drop her stunt and everything it's like if you know that that's gonna happen before honestly before any performance if you're like crying like that it or like very sad or like scared like it uh, it draw it brings the negativity like you're gonna do bad if of you course, believe you're gonna do bad of and i think she believed she was gonna do bad and she did bad damn and it sucks but maybe she learned how to be more mentally tougher and performance in the future or oh my god i'm just saying i'm team i'm not even trying to like, hey i'm team candy cane i'm team she learned i'm team fuck that person in your gym that said that to her it's so crazy because a couple minutes before you were saying fuck candy cane what you were saying fuck candy cane well no i'm saying like 
what in that moment in, in that high moment school. i was like so mad on your behalf but now like looking a few years later i'm like damn like those ad- the adults should not have treated her that way like we you get participation medals right when you walk off the floor she ripped it out of candy cane's hand no, and like, said don't ever come back to my yeah kid. that woman should be really embarrassed of herself you're an adult you're a fucking loser for that actually i feel like that pisses me off it's crazy because i feel like that's so like tame in that sport like that's like so normal and also it, she likes crazy shit like that these adults some adults who are involved in sports and like living there like living vicariously through the athletes i think are fucking losers i really i do. know it kinda i really is. do it abby lee miller is a fucking loser that person's a fucking loser like these people need to take a step back and realize they're talking to children and relax it's not the end of the world one of my coaches once came into practice once and sat us all down and told us how depressed he was. Meanwhile, listen, we are 13 to 16 <laughs> years old here. He told us how depressed he was and how he had a shower at the Planet Fitness because he has no hot water. <gasps> his elevator is broken in his building. Oh my like, God. I'm like, this is terrible. But what are we supposed to as your <laughs> therapy? Outlet. What are we supposed to do about this? Like <laughs> we have to go practice our stunts. Yeah. Are we gonna practice our stunts? It sounds like, like it's a fairly unhealthy community. Uh it is. And also with fucking sexual harassment. Yeah. Like I had a coach fucking sexually harass me and would like literally used to like put me in headlocks and stuff and like give me noogies. Ew. And then another coach finally saved the day and was like, What are you doing? Like, to the other coach. And the other coach, like, let go of me. See, these people, like, uh, not him, the one who was harassing you. These people are fucking losers. What are yeah, we going to do about it? Yeah, he's such a loser. It? He also got fired a few weeks after that because turns out he was sending nudes to, like, a 14-year-old. <gasps> and he's, Ew. like, 30-something. Yeah, it happens so much. And people should yeah, like the show Cheer. speak up so much more. Damn. Yeah, also, though, like, Cheer sets up opportunities for that shit to happen by, like, there's things called open teams where literally anyone from the age of like 12 and up can be on a team together. So you, I was on a team my freshman year of college as well, like an all-star cheer. It was so fun. Like, and everyone on that team is wonderful and great, but a 30 something year old could be lifting a 12 year old in the air, touching their ass, like doing all like just the nature of the sport. And like, I'm of course, if it's, I don't know. It's just like it sets it's literally such an easy access point for sick people if they wanted to. Well, sick people that can flip. (laughs) (laughs) So you have to pass one barrier. And there are there are sick people that that can can flip, flip, unfortunately. Um but yeah. After our that I cheered in college at Florida State University and for whatever reason, cheer in the, in the South is, like, masculine. Well, George Bush cheered in Texas. And he's the most masculine <laughs> man we you know. masculine alpha man I've ever seen. Yeah, cheer in the South is, like, masculine. Like, I was the only out gay boy when I joined freshman I, year. The Florida State, because I was a, I was kind of like a Florida State cheer groupie. Yeah, for a time. yeah. Like, I you would go to their knew parties. Everyone, everyone knew everyone you. Everyone knew me. We were, like, uh, on a first-name basis. And I was like, this is the straightest group of people I've ever met. And straight in the way, like, I mean, like, very traditional like views on like gender i would say (laughs) wouldn't you yeah steve my my our friend steve always talk about him he cheered with me my second year i got him to cheer um that's another thing too like college cheer like i know so many people who just started in college because they thought it was cool to to throw chicks yeah like they were like 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 fraternity boys that would would join to throw the Throw the bitches around, you Yeah, know? like, they thought it was so cool. Yeah. Um, but Steve joined. He ended up being an f though, so it doesn't really count with him. But he started like that. And he <laughs> was – he texted me the other day. <laughs> there was a camp every year that, like, we would go to, like, early in the season to train. I actually got out of it, like, every year for something Was it like, in Alabama? Yeah, yeah. It was, like, in Alabama, usually something like that. 
And apparently, again, I always would miss out on this and no one ever decided to fill me in because I guess I wasn't a threat. But there'd be like a bro talk, they called it, where they would all sit down and be like, like, these girls are sisters. Like we (gasps) protect them like they we don't do anything more. We don't we aren't creepy like these are our sisters. Weren't some of them hooking up? Um, yeah, uh, here and there. But but incest is loud. (laughs) <laughs> but Steve was saying like how it just like he felt like those conversations were always like so weird and like minimized the girls to like items or something yeah. or I, I don't know how exactly he put it but I was like it was kind of true I never viewed that like I viewed them genuinely as sisters yeah. as my girls um, and I loved all of them yeah but there's something like str- and there's nothing wrong with feeling like protective i guess of your female friends but there is something where you're like yeah i'm an alpha and you need saving like yeah like we protect you guys like, yeah w- yeah it, it it was strange i always wondered like what it, how weird it is to like be touching the girls in that kind of way as like a straight man because you literally like fingers go up people's butts or JJ's goes in places you don't know. Like you're touching their hips twenty four seven, their butts twenty four seven, thighs, legs. Yeah, like, it is a very intimate sport. It is super intimate, and like a, it is like weird to think about like a straight, straight people doing it. I don't know, but I remember for cheer because we were collegiate cheerleaders. You also are like the face of the university as well. Like of it's course. kind of a marketing thing, and um, we would do appearances before games. And so, like, on game day, we'd go to, like, the president's box before the game starts. And you just interact with, like, fans or, like, these rich, the, like... The rich donors, these are, these the are, booster yeah, club Yeah, these donors. are the rich donors. And every game, there would always be an old white man to be like, oh, you picked the sport, didn't you? <laughs> like, being around all these pretty women. Like, so gross. And I'd be like, hell Yeah. <laughs> like I wouldn't know what to do because like literally it's like so I didn't feel safe being like I'm actually gay so that's so I'd just gross. be like yeah they're, yeah very pretty <laughs> even like forcing like these athletes because that's what you guys were to go and like rub elbows with these like rich donors it's like yeah. so cringe to me it's like you're not making the football team go there before their like game to no. go grease some elbows and chat that was like half our job like yeah we stunted tumbled did all that stuff but like we were also like marketing oh my, for can the you imagine school me in a role like that like someone would have said one thing to me and no. I'm like, hey, can you shut the fuck up actually yeah well i, I have no patience th- i also would get in trouble for what i posted on social media oh, because i'm yeah. a cheerleader and i represent florida state and blah, you're blah, blah. a fucking cheerleader not a u.s congressman <laughs> right that is so stupid no but like literally like they acted like i was like the face of florida state based on how they would like yell okay at me for my social and media. i'm sorry was our former president of florida state university not a fucking creationist that didn't believe in evolution that's the face <laughs> of florida state university yeah that literally is the face of florida state so also i'm so mad because like a year after i left um Ron DeSantis' wife came and like met all the cheerleaders. They Florida State <laughs> University loved inviting the wives of problematic politicians <laughs> to our school because my, I was in the English and foreign language department. So I a lot of like art classes were in similar buildings to me. They invited Karen Pence, Mike Pence's <gasps> wife, the one yeah. that he calls mother like a fucking weirdo. <laughs> They invited Karen to Florida State's campus and she went Seriously. in the art building to talk about like art and psychology and, and for children, I believe, which is like, yeah, that's a great pa- like that's a great uh, mission. But like, <laughs> get the fuck out of here, Karen. Like, you're a fucking loser. You're in like the English department that like you want to ban these books. Are yeah. you for real right now? Also, Are you for real? Also, when like Turning Point USA or whatever the fuck would come to our school and be on like Landis Green. Yes, they. Oh my god, they it's would. A- One thing about college campuses is abortion, pro-abortion. Wait, 
anti-abortion activists love to come and put disgusting images of like fetuses on your campus they love <laughs> to do that one one of something so embarrassing what do you remember when they came and i like went and protested by like playing cupcake next yeah. to them or something i like remember texting <laughs> Wait, we should explain, though. Grant, there was, like, um one of those preachers, like, the ones you see on TikTok that would come and basically say, like, every female's a whore and you're all going to hell and you're disgusting and, and you shouldn't have sex, all this stuff. And Grant had a speaker in his backpack <laughs> and played the cupcake song, My Neck, My, my back, back, Lick My Pussy and, and My crack, crack, on full volume to, like, drown her out. And it was honestly, like, a really iconic <laughs> moment. Thank you. You. Uh, there's a video we'll post it on our instagram but yeah. it, it was so fun and there was like a dance party we're all like yeah, yeah. and like that new car uh, this was like when cardi b first launched so like bodak yellow is that what it's called i am not familiar wait what is bodak yellow y'all isn't that something else it oh. might be another song i don't know whatever but anyways i this is the embarrassing thing i remember like texting like my cheer captain at the time because i was a freshman and i was like it would be such a great idea <laughs> to bring our megaphones and do some cheers like to drown out the noise Aww, i don't think that's <laughs> embarrassing that's kind of sweet but he definitely was like fuck no yeah like no absolutely not it took the fsu athletics department to say black lives matter yeah, for so long it probably took oh my them god so long. there was a heated like zoom call like during the pandemic and all that with all the athletes and and we were like why won't you just say it like it, it was so crazy and then they find after that call i finally did but i spoke at it and i was like just fucking like why yeah. don't you listen to your athletes who are all here speaking to you and like say it yeah i loved like the english department and like m my professors i loved all of them in the english department i loved the russian department as well but like florida state as a whole is like low-key kind of fucking backwards they're they're just so it, I concerned mean, they're with their old money the old like, money the booster money and then also like the amount of money that's given to athletics rather than like education is crazy oh my God, and yeah. academic and the amount of money that cheer gets yeah zero squat. cheer is a it's not recognized as a sport by the ncaa which is so stupid at this point but also i think varsity as a whole like that company is one a monopoly and two bars any other org organization from like getting themselves even involved with cheer so i feel like varsity doesn't even want like ncaa so to like dumb. acquire cheer or anything but because of that fsu and a lot of other athletic departments across the country don't technically view or give cheer. Like you as couldn't many have gotten an resources. athletic scholarship, right? No. Yeah, that's bullshit. No scholarship. And if there is ever a scholarship in the future, it would come from like boosters Personal or money. people who like donated but to the fact cheer. Like, you were waking up at five AM to go <laughs> training and conditioning, go oh take a fucking God. ice bath. Yeah, you my have to go schedule to was psychology, crazy. like and that's not a sport yeah they they were nice enough to like give us some like we had a trainer which was really nice and we would have weight room but of course we would like have last pick for like the times for the weight room and stuff so it was like five right it was like 6 a.m or something like crazy uh. um but yeah and and we had like we i remember something weird that we didn't have was like tutoring but every other like like athlete could have access to it i think yeah there, it was just weird little things like that. Also, like, oh, this would piss me off. Anytime Seminoles, like the Instagram account, which is our athletics, like, social media account, would post, like, International Women's Day, they would post a montage of, like, all the sports and not show cheer. What? Yeah. And so I would always, like, call them out for it. Another thing is, like, I would stand up for cheer so many times and they wouldn't like listen to me even my coach like sometimes wouldn't listen to me so i would just blast them on social media and make a whole scene and then they would listen to me That's like insane. it was crazy <gasps> covid testing every other athlete had private testing like at this one facility 
all of cheer and golden girls are dancing how to be tested with everyone else like and wait in line and like pay or pay for ourselves for our own covid testing every other athlete had pay had their testing paid for yet we were required to be at every game still in fa- in front of fans what? cheering and whatnot and this is like in the heat of covid that's fucking bullshit yeah so that was like another thing it was just shit like that like we were always forgotten or like oh it's just cheer meanwhile they won national champions this year so give it up for that like period wow. and i hope i i think fsu i think is looking at them a bit more serious now because of some changes all right well fsu is going down a fucking horrible path with with florida with what's happening in the state of florida and Ron DeSantis's grip on public education and it's actually horrifying and his grip on so, pussies I don't know if he has ever touched a pussy. In he his hasn't, life. but metaphorically, he yeah. thinks he has a grip on pussies, yeah, too. Yeah, he does. He's disgusting. So if any of y'all listening vote in the state of Florida, seriously, tell your fucking parents and your grandparents and your aunt and your uncle and anyone else to shut the fuck up with voting for Ron DeSantis and get fucking real. Touch some grass. Get, get real for real. Like shut the no, fuck up. No, it's pissing up. me off. It's pissing me off. It actually is. And they think it's like funny. People who vote for him like think it's funny. Ron DeSantis literally, look at his sausage fingers. They're disgusting. That man eats so much sodium, it's horrifying. And it, you want him to be president with those sodium sausage fingers? Get you, real. You know what else is karmic? What? People's, sausage fingers? People's height. He's short, huh? He is, I think. He looks like, it's like not right. He looks, he he looks, looks nubby. Like, he looks like SpongeBob when he gets that, like... Like he doesn't have the holes <gasps> anymore, and he's like that. No, like, it's normal SpongeBob. Normal, like, he looks normal. like normal SpongeBob. Ew, 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 ew. Anyways, yeah. Are we done talking about sports? Yeah, I don't really what? have. I I never really played sports, guys. Like I I never really after I played field hockey in seventh grade, and then. I quit because I had scoliosis and there's a fucking crazy picture of me yeah. playing, school, or playing field yeah. hockey. And like, we'll I was post like, it. and I saw a picture of me playing field hockey. It's like, mm, you said, wait a minute. That is not something I need to participate in from this moment forward. Right. And then I also, if I'm being honest, I lost my field Virginia. hockey goggles at one point and stole. <gasps> Yeah, and I stole one of my teammates' glasses because I don't know why at the age of 12 or 13, the most horrifying thing I could have ever done was to admit to an authority figure that I fucked up and lost these goggles. So you revert to robbery. So instead of facing up to like, I was really, I had like a fear of authority unlike you. So like instead of confessing that i lost my goggles i decided to steal my teammates goggles because <laughs> she had similar initials to mine and didn't something like crazy happen like didn't she get in trouble i don't even think no i don't even like that nothing came out of it i think maybe she couldn't play for a game <gasps> <laughs> yeah but i felt so guilty about it the next day i faked sick I like was like, mom, I can't go to school. I'm so sick because I just felt so guilty. I was like, I'm going to hell and I'm, I'm not even religious, not, yeah, but I was like, <laughs> this is so bad. This is making me believe in a higher power and they're going to punish me. Yeah, you're going to become bald. It was like the worst. That's the only time I've ever stolen something and it like ruined my life. All of seventh grade, all I thought about was like, I'm literally the worst person in the world. Wow. Yeah. And then I stopped playing sports. You could have like, you could have gotten a new ones. I don't, it, the thought didn't cross in my mind. In seventh grade, yeah. But then. Oh, also you don't have money in seventh grade. Like you I'd have, have to, to tell ask my your parents, parents and which they the would have been thing. like, yeah, okay, we'll buy you new goggles. Yeah. Like it's fine. Yeah. But I, so I quit. I didn't play any sports in high school, but I did senior year. I decided it was my duty to kind of dictate the fan section at football games. What was the role called? Every like, like super fan, every grade or whatever had like 
these super fans yeah, and it would so be like weird. you would pick like the theme of the football game so we'd be like okay everyone has to wear red or everyone has to wear like jungle safari outfits but i was like i couldn't even tell you the rules to football grant i literally could not tell you the she rules she just wanted to coordinate but i just wanted to plan my whole outfit to get really cute outfits and like <laughs> do my makeup and like be like like I, I just wanted to like literally plan my outfit so i was like yes i love football i'm a super fan and i was yeah. literally in the yearbook i got the superlative for most spirited <laughs> I didn't do shit. <laughs> you just wanted like. I just wanted to wear a cute outfit. And then make everyone else like. And I yeah like I did like, like having authority and having power and being like if you don't wear white you tonight you can't sit with in the stands uh-uh. in the section. Oh, you know what? So can I just say something though? Yeah. So we were the super fans. Me, it was me, our friend Jordan, Chris, and Nick. The four of us were like these super <laughs> fans, right? And they'd always have. Also, another reason so you can be front row. Oh, yeah, I was front row. <laughs> I just, y'all, I just wanted attention, and there's nothing wrong with that. Right. And I'm admitting it now. And <laughs> so, as super fans, I guess I didn't realize that that means you have to be a super fan for like all sports. <laughs> wait, wait, <laughs> like, really? they wanted us to go to like the all field hockey, lacrosse. Still, there's a scandal here. They wanted us to go to all like the senior nights. So we uh, did. We went to like the soccer games. I went to the gymnastic senior night, I'm pretty sure. Okay, that's fun. But we did not go to field hockey senior night. <laughs> we didn't. I was like, oh give us a break. I was like, ah. I've been, I'm swapped. I'm literally at a new sport event every other day, and I <laughs> tricked myself into it because of the outfits, and now I have to fucking watch two periods of, I don't know if it's a period, two <laughs> quarters, quarters, semesters of soccer. Hell and no. So I was like, okay, like, if there's one I could skip, t- the field hockey players don't care. Yeah. Grant, they were fuming. I got like actual hate. They they posted in the Facebook group for like the fans or whatever. Like Oh, I remember this, I think. They posted like this is so sad. I think they posted like the empty bleachers and they were and like, we're like yeah, seriously? We have such great super fans, don't we? I was yeah. like, Oh my god, I've literally been called the fuck out. But we doubled down. We're like, sorry. Like I just like couldn't care. No. Less. And I feel bad. They they wanted fans. They worked hard at their sport. But well, I'm sorry you picked that sport and you know damn well even professionally there can't be those stands are not filled. <laughs> like you I'm really sorry. think 300 people are going to come and I'm going to You no. think you think the stands were filled at my gymnastics meets, my no. men's gymnastics meets? No. So my only really foray into sports in teenage and adult life was just telling people what to wear in the fan sections yeah y'all i went to florida state university big football school i think i went to three games and i left one halfway through yeah couldn't care less remember they they have a clear bag policy you threw out your, <laughs> you threw your purse into a bush and we're like it'll probably be there after and it wasn't <laughs> <laughs> that was yeah. crazy well that's sports for you. Uh, guys, I don't care about sports, but I love the Olympics. Announcements for hey, the good of the group. Announcements, announcements hey. for the good of the group. Announcements for the good. For, for the, the good, good of the who? For the good of the group. Hey. Woo. That's my thighs slapping. That was good. Um, this is announcements for the good of the group where we share our announcements for the good of the group. Um, do you go first? I have to tell you something. Okay. You're gay. I have recently gotten into Wattpad and fan fiction. What? Are you writing it? (laughs) I'm not writing it, but I'm exploring some ideas to write on Wattpad. Uh, I'm scared. (laughs) I actually am scared right now for like. <laughs> I love Wattpad. Like I think it's so fun. Do you get wet? No, no, it's not like that. Oh. I just love hearing like people's <laughs> interpretations of new stories and like. Okay. But I discovered some fan fiction today that was a little weird. <laughs> what was it? So. 
when I was like younger, the only fan fiction I ever read was Draco and Hermione from Harry Potter, and then I dabbled in One Direction, being bought by One Direction fan fiction, where your parents sell you to One Direction, and it's like <laughs> it's a fan fiction genre. Oh. Okay. Like you wake up one day and you you've and been sold you've to been One Direction. Sold to One Direction. <laughs> it's, a, it's a specific genre. Okay. So today I was like, damn, there's so much fan fiction out there. So I decided to type in one of my favorite movies and see what the fan fiction was. Mm. Grant, let me tell you about Ratsamore, the Ratatouille fan fiction I found. What is Rat Ratsamore? <laughs> like that's Amore, but Ratsamore. What's that's amore? That's like a song. Amore means love in Italian. Yeah, that, so maybe yeah, that's it's a uh, like a fake Sinatra song. Who's he falling in love with? Sophia. The man? Sophia, a new rat. No, it's a new uh, rat. They introduce a new character. Can I just read you like a passage? Yeah. Chapter three. Meeting again. As Remy fell into the kitchen, Sophia tried reaching him, but she couldn't. She watched him fall. Wait, wait, pause. You read all the way up to chapter three? I've I've been skimming it. I'm oh, I'm sure. Yeah. Okay, continue. She watched him fall, but then lost him. Her rage came up as she started punching the glass. Finally, she had met another rat who was like her. She could see it in his eyes. They weren't filled with survival, but with ideas. And now she had lost him. She wiped away a tear she didn't know had fallen and walked off to the roof. Her first friend, gone. She finally reached the bottom of the building. Another tear slipped from her eye as she sh- jumped down into the sewers. Holy shit, right? Well, I'm just picturing the rats outside of our apartment. They don't speak like that. Oh, well, I just like that loved this like wow. Remy Sophia love story. I was like actually getting pretty engrossed, but the worst part is like there's so many spelling errors. I'm like, fuck, like a fucking 12 year old definitely Wait, wrote Wait, really? It sounds so re- well written. I was, I was reading it correcting Are you her spelling you seriously? errors. Well, if she learned how to spell, she could have a career no, like, being a novelist. Obsessed with Ratatouille fan fiction. Um, I wish there was more of it. That's really the only Can popular one. Can you please one. look up gay cars fan fiction? You don't have to now. No, but, but I will. But maybe for next time. Or just maybe send it to me. That's all. Yeah, there's definitely some Lightning McQueen. And I w- yeah, but I don't want Mater in Lightning. I want Lightning and Doc. Okay. So just can't, if you find it, just send it to me. I will. Anyways, my announcement for the good of the group is hot. I already found it. <laughs> <laughs> it's Mater, but I'll find more. Okay, yeah, please. Hot or write it. Yeah. Hot people have scandals, and it's because people are so jealous of how hot you are. You're always gonna have someone coming for you. I disagree completely. Seriously? You can continue, but I disagree. Why? I think hot people have scandals because they think that they can get away with more because they're used to people being more accommodating to them because they're attractive. No. Okay, well, what if I'm being self-referential? What do you mean by that? What if I'm the hot person in question with a scandal? I know you are. Well, I don't think you think you're getting away with more, but I think generally hot people think that they can get away with more because they're hot and we need well, to debunk also, that. Well, also, but okay, maybe I don't mean it like that then because remember the other day you said people try to knock you down as you climb the ladder or whatever. What was it you said? Well, the higher you climb the ladder, the more enemies you're going to make. That's how I feel right now in my yeah, life. Yeah, I don't know if it necessarily has to do with hotness, though. Well, I just used hot people as a metaphor. Okay. For, for that kind of thing. I just think if you're doing really well and, like, succeeding, and maybe someone who's similar or in the same field as you isn't or or is jealous of what's going on for you, I really think you shouldn't assume that that person might not do something to, like, try and ruin you People like cutthroat i genuinely i do even though it might not seem like it, i do kind of think people all, all have good intentions but i also think people don't <laughs> <laughs> okay beautiful i just i mean i'm just saying watch your back similar to what i said before snakes in the grass 
and we are mowing the lawn. You're dealing with like this scandal, like this. I don't even know the details, but you're dealing with people stabbing your back. Mm-hmm. I'm at home reading Ratatouille fan fiction. <laughs> And that's, that's where we are right that's now. That's the difference like, between you and me. Literally. I'm reading Rats Amore and I'm like eating it up every second. All right. Well, we have an announcement from a fan. His name's Alex. Let's see where he is in life right now. Yeah. Maybe he has fan um, fiction around. I just moved to a big city. Um, How do you make friends? I just moved here for graduating in May. And I don't Aww. know. It's just hard. I, don't, I, I feel so alone. I miss my Babe. friends from school. Yeah. Babe. How do you make friends? Oh, Alex. Alex. Alex, first of all, you sound so cute. Yeah, you do. You sound so nice. That's so hard. I actually couldn't imagine, like, moving to a whole new city without, like, knowing people. Yeah, like, so I first really of all. I really respect people. Like, Yay, that's Alex. That's a huge You're thing, so brave. period. That's so hard, and I, I actually, like, can't imagine that. But I guess my recommendation would be to find some sort of, like, activity yep. that would surround you with people. Like, maybe if you play a sport to join, like, a local intramural yes, sport. Yes, yes. Going with the theme of the episode, I guess. You know? hey. Or if you like to cook, go to a cooking class. If you like to go to the gym, like, go to the gym. Find something that you genuinely enjoy and then try to build a community around that. Yeah, I was going to say, Alex, um, first of all, we both are dealing with the same thing we've been here for a year and a half like we're meeting people yeah. whatever but we i don't think we, we have like have brand many. new core group of friends no, other than people we know from home friends. and stuff uh it's like so it is hard and i feel like not a lot of people talk about that especially after school after school is so hard and just generally like making friends as an adult is kind of hard um but I agree with Ashley. I joined an adult gymnastics class that I try to go to weekly, but I have not gone in so long just because my schedule. But like, yeah, finding friends with common interests, like literally joining a sports team or something, if you're into that or any sort of activity. And just the hardest part is like going for the first time. Yeah. But all these other people are also in the same boat as you. Also, all these other people in the city are on their own too. Everyone's on your own. And when you're in a city, it just it feels more amplified, I think, when you're there's alone. There's so many people everywhere. But when you do meet people, also like be very proactive in like putting effort into the friendship. Like text them often asking to hang out and try to meet their friends and just try to like immerse yourselves with new groups of people as much as you can and you're gonna maybe meet your new best friend yeah you do a lot of that what all that you do all of that no i don't <laughs> <laughs> i if stay you, in my bed and read ratatouille fan hey, fiction if you can't do it teach it yeah exactly you know? so that's what we're yeah. doing right now i should take that advice but instead i rot in my bed reading Ratatouille. Ratatouille. rats of more and watching red white and royal blue for the seventh time yep well, if you have an good luck, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> if you have an announcement for the good of the group, you can send them to our Instagram, a voice memo, if you will. That's hey. what we prefer. And if you're lucky, we might we just might, read it on the pod. We might just read it on the pod. All right. Well, it was so nice meeting you guys and so fun. What sports did you play? Let us know on Instagram or TikTok or wherever the fuck you. Unless you played the cross, do not tell us if you played the cross. Nope. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.